Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights with Malcolm Maestro Erickson the Paladin. We are at the Crater Ruin south of Fort Ilkart. In the past! Yes, indeed. What were we doing again? Oh, yes. Introducing a witness into the golems before they are built. Yeah, let's get right to that. Ooh, slave worker. From the iron collar around his neck, it's obvious this man is a slave. Well, that's really drawing a quick conclusion there, isn't it? Could just mean a man likes to wear an iron collar. I mean, that's not so weird, is it? Is it? Lights. That's probably not finished yet. Hello. Ulux of a polar. Poet Hisu Persia Fiakal. I'll be going now. Alright, let's turn on the translation necklace. I had that bound. Hello. You cannot be here. If the mistress has cast an escaped slave in the golden room, they will kill us both. Who are you? I am one of the slaves the mistress has commanded to create golems. When finished, the golems will be indestructible guardians of the vault. It is forbidden for me to give contact with other slaves on pain of death. That is why you should not be here. I am not an escaped slave. I am a visitor from the distant future. Now give me all your money. Mistress, we do not care who or what you claim to be. You are not of the creator race. They will destroy you if they catch you here. I want to ask you some questions. I will tell you what I can, but then you must go. I cannot risk you being caught here. Those statements seem to, to, seem to contradict each other. If you want me gone, why do you keep talking to me? What can you tell me about this creator race? I can tell you only what is common knowledge. The lizard people rule the world with a terrible scaled fist. They enslave us lesser races, forcing us to serve the reptilian mistresses until our deaths. They are a savage and cruel, and care nothing for those that serve them. Many slaves have perished during the building of this complex beneath the lashes of the mistresses. I am afraid that is all I know of the creator race. Mm-hmm. What is this place you are building? The mistresses are forcing us to build a great vault. Then finished, it will be protected by magical wards of smoke and light and sound. As well as the golden guardians I'm working on. What was, what was that you said about magical wards? Once complete, the vault will be protected by three wards, one of each four. One of each of smoke, light, and sound. Once activated, each ward can only be activated from a different room within the complex where the mechanisms that power the individual wards are, lo are to be located. I do not know the secret of deactivating the wards once they are finished, but I imagine you would have to solve the riddles of smoke, light, and sound to gain entry once the wards are in place. And once my work here is complete, the golems will have to be vanquished as well. What can you tell me about these golem guardians? When complete, the vault will be protected by three indestructible golems, immune to all physical and magical attacks. My task is to complete the creation of one of these golems. Well, that sounds way too powerful to be feasible, but still. Is there any way I could convince you to not finish building the golem? If I do not complete the golem, the mistress will torture me until I beg for death, and then they would grant it to me in a gruesome fashion. Uh, well, uh, I could free you from your enslavement. Where would I go? The lizard people rule the entire world. 
I will be a fugitive forever on the run, knowing a horrible fate awaits if I if I am captured. I am a high-ranking privileged slave. I am given private quarters and bountiful food. I am allowed to choose a mate, and I am rarely beaten. Your offer is nothing compared to that. Please, if you help me, it will strike a great blow against the tyranny of the creator race that has enslaved you. There is something strange about you. You seem more... You seem more than an escaped slave. I have to speak the truth. If I aid you, I'm taking a terrible risk. But I would be worth it if you could truly strike a blow against the mistresses. You've misspelled mistresses. I do not know. I do not build the golem. The masters will know I have aided you. But it might be possible for me to construct the golem with a single subtle flaw that will not they will not detect. This will give the golem one fatal vulnerability. I can introduce only one flaw, any more than the mistresses would notice. Should I make the golem vulnerable to fire, cold blunt weapons, or slashing and piercing weapons? Alright, so this makes at least a little bit more sense why only one flaw was to be introduced. I still think it's a ridiculous restraint, but I will. Uh, blunt weapons, please. I shall do as you've asked, however. My change will only affect the golem I am working on. There are other golems, but you would have to speak to the slaves building them, or they will be invulnerable. Now please go before the mistresses see you here. Is this open now? Alright. Ha! Ooh. A most palpable touch! <laughs> <laughs> Hold one defenses. That might be useful. Ooh, an evoker. That is heavier than I am. Summoning these. Is the summon? Yeah, there is. Possibly rest and cure that, but we're on schedule here. Let's keep moving. The top. This is a child's toy top. Not sure if it's of any val real value, but anyway, let's have a look at that scroll. The note appears to be instructions from a high priest to one of the underlings describing how to enter the central vault of the complex. As a keeper of the sacred artifacts, you must understand the secrets of our inner sanctum. Only the rituals of smoke, light and sound will unbind the door. There is no other way to enter its hallowed halls. walls. Once those slaves have finished building our golems, our defenses will be fully intact. The enslaved fairy will guide you through the ritual of sound, for she is bound to the magic of the gongs. To complete the ritual smoke, you must cast blessed powders on the sacred braziers so that their combinations match the descending order of the stone set into the brazier's base. The ritual of light can only be completed using the stones drawn from the holy pool in the center of the pillars. Begin by choosing any two of the single stones set 
in the primary color pools. The secondary pools must then be filled with the twin gems that match the corresponding color that would be created by combining the hues of the stones in the primary pool. You may keep this letter for a fortnight if you and will then be tested of what you have learned. Master the secrets of rituals and the queen will be placed in peace with you. Fail to learn them and you shall suffer the grisly fate. Very devious indeed. Hmm. I think I will hold on to this coral for uh, well, 10,000 years or so, done. perhaps, to learn this. Other amulets. Magic. It's probably a better one to keep it in. Alright, but overall not all that really much interesting in here. I mean, after all, these things are not finished yet, so they're not working. And really not the goal of my mission. I'm here to plant a tree and get the other slave workers to weaken the golems. Let's just focus on that and then get the F out of here. It's done! Amulets, but I will pick this one up so that I can drop it. Ow. And a belt. Mm, silver necklace. Right, so this is the same place where everything else is. In the future, spirits. I'll take the copper ring though. Potion of speed. A fire opal. Get rid of this Tommy potion. And then cure myself a bit. Alright, 
let's make sure that this chamber is clear. Before I talk to that guy. A ring of crimson. This chest is locked. Okay, okay. It's eerily silent in the past. Catch an escaped slave in the golden room that will kill us both. I am not an escaped slave. I am Agent 5 from the TSA. I heal time or get your luggage lost at the airport. Whichever you choose. Ask you some questions. Uh, place your building. Can you tell what you golems? I could give you gold. What use would gold serve me? I'm not allowed of property. I cannot buy anything with it. The mistress will find it. They will take it, and no doubt whip me for a thief. I'm a high-ranking privileged slave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Blunt weapon, please. Alright, that's two. Count them two. Alright, back to being strong again. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Well, at least it's only a paralyzed spell, but still. I mean, they're really playing uh, fast and loose with this time travel stuff. If it was really time travel sensitive, then I really should not be killing anything. Even these greater race lizards. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar! Yeah. Ha! Ha! Start looting. Ocean of Bless. Some gold. Alright, can we talk to this uh, sprite? I welcome and greet you. I welcome and greet you. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have to guess that she's either gonna be there in the future... ...or I'm gonna have some slight problems. But that's... Oh, there's enemies nearby. Oh, here it is. We can rest here. Well, things are going quite smoothly, like this. Just one more golem to go, and just need to find a place to plant a tree. Which way was that again? 
probably not that way. Let's, let's go find the tree first. But we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching.